New cameras are coming out all the time, and at the beginning of 2020, you might be asking, what's the best camera for me? Hey, so a lot of you know exactly what the Canon 80D is. This is a fantastic camera. But being about five years old, the question pops up, is it still relevant in today's market? Yeah, for sure, this is a fantastic camera. But if you don't already have a camera, there may be a better option for you. I wanna tell you a little bit about my experience with this camera and compare it to a new camera, the EOS RP. The Canon 80D is one of the best cameras and a lot of people have really loved it because of this beautiful flip out and articulating screen that allows you to film yourself and be able to see kind of what you're framing. So this has been the camera that a lot of people call the camera that launched a thousand YouTube channels. So the Canon 80D is a fantastic camera and I keep saying that because it really, really is. But here's the deal is that it does fall short in a lot of ways, especially compared to cameras that we have now in 2019, almost 2020. So I wanna give you a brief description of both the Canon 80D and the EOS RP, which I don't have with me, but I've done a ton of research on it and I wanna fill you in on exactly why I think that I actually would go with that if you're buying a new camera rather than this camera that I own and love. I'll just tell you the few things about the ADD that the RP doesn't have and then we'll get into all of the great, great things that the RP offers us that honestly five years ago they couldn't with the ADD. And one of the things that I have absolutely loved about this camera is being able to film 60 frames per second in 1080. Now this is one of those things that people just sort of freak out about when they can film slow-mo. But it's really, really nice when you wanna be able to film some crispy B-roll or you wanna do something that's a little bit more interesting slowed down. But if these two reasons aren't high priority for you, then it's a no-brainer. You need to go with the RP. The ADD has the classic LPE6 battery, which is the standard Canon size battery. It lasts a really long time. But not only that, but there's actually a battery grip with real functionality buttons for taking vertical video or photos and for extending even better battery life. The second reason is that this is a five-year-old camera, which means you can actually buy them used. I looked on the used market and generally people are selling them for about $650, which granted from a thousand dollars brand new is a really good deal. But if you do have up to a thousand dollars to spend on a camera, or even just a little bit more to buy some accessories, the RP is definitely for you. So not only does the RP shoot all of the same frame rates, it can take the same lenses with the adapter that is included with the purchase of camera, but it's the same price. Basically everything that the ADD has built into it, the RP offers and more. The EOS RP is a full frame mirrorless camera which means the sensor is a lot bigger than the APS-C sensor. The APS-C sensor is actually a 1.6 crop, and so getting that full frame spread is helpful for having superior performance in low light and giving you a wider shot being able to frame up more things in tighter spaces. When it comes to photography, the RP is substantially a better camera. It has not only the RAW formats that the ADD had, but it also has a new format called C-RAW, which essentially allows you in your editing process to pull out the dark parts of your image and the bright parts of your image so that you can have more data for even better photos. The RP has a really great electronic viewfinder, and this is incredibly helpful when you go outside to take photos or video. Now, a lot of times when you're outside, the brightness of your screen, it just can't compare to the brightness of the sun. So being able to take that camera and put it up to your face and be able to block out the sun and see on the viewfinder what you're actually capturing is just incredible because then you won't walk away from a spot having missed a shot. Canon is always trying to progress with their lenses. It's a really high priority to their company. And so they've created a new mount called the RF mount. Now this is specifically for their mirrorless cameras like the EOS RP, which we're talking about the EOS R and their new camera, the EOS RA, which is an astrophotography camera. We won't get into that. So not only can the RP use these RF lenses, but it comes with a free adapter to be able to use your EF or your EFS lenses, which means if you are looking to upgrade from any of the Revel series or even upgrade your ADD, you can totally do that and still keep all your lenses. Going into 2020, it seems like every camera, even our iPhones, have 4K. Now what this means is that our cameras need to keep up. 
and unfortunately the ADD does not have 4K, but the RP does. While it's limited in the frame rates you can get, it is still 4K, it's, it suffers a little bit of a crop, but being able to shoot 4K is really, really great when you're shooting. Something where you might actually wanna zoom in later in post-production to get a little bit different of a shot. And that means that if you need to crop into your image later, you'll be able to actually get a clean, beautiful, and usable image. That's it for me, and honestly, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. And I don't do a ton of gear videos, but if you're interested in seeing what kinds of content I do put out, jump over to my channel, check out a video or two, and if you enjoy it, please subscribe. I upload something every single Monday right now, and so if you're interested in having frequent uploads, then click that subscribe option, hit the bell for personalized notifications, and I'll see you on Mondays. So does like the swivelly screen make you like feel cooler? Like that you have something that can gyrate around? <laughs>